Righto guys, here we are in the darts shed and I tell you what, boy am I excited. Recycled timbers everywhere, we got fireplaces, we got the bar, we'll give that a workout in a later episode. I want to say a massive thank you for all the support on my first couple of videos. It's been absolutely nuts. You guys have left comments, you've left likes, you've subscribed. We're up to 13,000 subscribers now. The way you guys are going will hit 20k very, very soon. So let's talk about future content. I am so excited for this. At the moment, I'm laying down on the pillow at night and my brain is just ticking over. Clearly, we'll be in the caravan a little bit. It's bad weather outside and we can't be around a bonfire. We're gonna sit in here. We might have a quiet lemonade. Now, there's been a lot of messages come through about golf content. Dart, why haven't you got the golf sticks out? Hit them down your driveway like you normally do. It's been ages, what's going on? I wanna do that more than you guys trust me i love golf i live for golf i want to be out there and i've missed golf the last 10 weeks but truth is by the time you watch this video i would have had surgery on my shoulder my shoulder's just been hanging on literally by a bit of tape it's been an absolute pain in the backside early in the week i hadn't been sleeping after games basically because it's it's throbbing like it's it's got its own heartbeat up there by now, you've seen the video, I've had surgery, I'm feeling better. No, I'm probably not, I'm on the couch. I'm just trying to think forward here. It's very difficult to do. Probably on the couch editing this video with one arm like this. Let's think pre Chrissy. Very hard to even get it back there at the moment. But pre Chrissy or around Christmas, I'm thinking the first golf video on the darts channel, anyway. That's enough talking from the dark. Come on, seriously, you need to get out and show them what this episode's all about. And this episode is all about Billy. He's turned seven. I can't believe he's turned seven. Can we get a few happy birthdays in the comments for Billy? He's in love with the farm. He absolutely loves this place. I tell you what, he's terrorizing every single possum on the place. What do we call this episode? Like a day in the life of Billy Dog? Sounds pretty good. Day in the life of Bill. Seven year old dog turned seven. Anyway, let's go. Let's go. Let's go get the. Let's go filming for the whole entire day. This is going to be fun. Do you not realise today's all about you? <laughs> Billy Dog, the people want to see a race. Do you want to have a race? Do you want to have a race? Hey, you got to sit though. Ready? Let's race to that gate over there, all right? Ready, steady, go! Come on! He's doing 36, 37 clicks. Come on, bud! Come on, bud! Good boy! Bit of birthday fun in the rain. Good boy. Oh, you beat dad too. We can't be just sitting at the bottom of a tree looking at a possum nest. Buddy, let's go. Let's do something more exciting. Come on, come on. Not chasing possums all day. That's boring. Right? Come on, bud. Go for a swim. Go on, get in there. Is it freezing? Well, it would be, it's the middle of winter. Still raining out here, has been all morning. It's forecast to rain all day. Billy's in the water. I don't know how, it's freezing. He just asked dad if I'd jump in for his seventh birthday. There is no chance I'm getting in the water with that dog today. 
of all days. It's absolutely freezing out here. No, Billy, I'm not doing it. Nope. Oh no, I've lost a croc. I've lost one of my crocs. Oh! The croc. Where's my croc? Oh! Yes! Yes! <gasps> it's cold. Come on, bud. Let's go one more time. Let's go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. Oh boy, happy, happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. I'm getting out. It's, too good. it's actually taking my breath away. Oh, that's not good for you. That's too cold. Oh, it's starting to, starting to, I'm starting to die. I think I'm dying. Shower, 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 shower. Well, finally, guys, we've got a little bit of a break in the weather. The rain has stopped just for now. Behind me, very dark skies, so I need to be quick. Because the day's all about Billy, let's go through some of the stuff I taught him when he was a little pup. A GSP puppy needs... It needs its mind to be stimulated, you know. There's so much going on in there and they just want to run around and stuff. But then you sit him down, you try and get him in a quiet place where there's not too many distractions and you start teaching them straight away. And that helps later down the track when the dog's four, five, six, seven years of age. He has great habits that he can go back to. Really strong foundations, you know. So um, the first thing I did was buy this whistle. There's three modes that I've taught him with this whistle. One whistle, sit. Good boy. Constant whistle means lay down. Good boy. And multiple whistles come back to dad. Well, there you have it. That's probably enough with the whistle. Probably a little bit boring talking about a whistle and what I've taught Billy. It's just super handy for when you have such an active dog. It saves you so much time and stress. I might see him, for example, running towards another pack of dogs and there's a, there's a, um, there's a road in between and you're like, oh my God, he's going to get hit by a car. And then you can... And that might save your dog from getting hit by a car. So super important. Bit of fun in the meantime teaching him. But um, yeah, very handy folks, get yourself a whistle. All right guys, this mob of sheep over the back here are still lambing. We had triplets yesterday, amazing scenes. First triplets for the dart. There's still five or six ewes ready to lamb in the next week and I'm going in for shoulder surgery tomorrow. I want these ewes from the back of the farm right up near the house where they're a bit more protected. Billy's in the yard where the caravan still is because I don't want him spooking the, the lambs and the ewes for this part of the video. So I've just left him over there just for now, okay? I know it's all about Billy. It's Billy's birthday. He doesn't mind. I asked him and he said, no, I'll sit over here under the possum and just chill out. I've got a job for you guys at home. You've got to tell me in the comments how many lambs there are as they come through this gateway. I'm going to leave the GoPro on the fence. Get a close up for you. Make sure you're quick. One, two, three, four, five. Count them all up. Leave your guess in the comments. As they walk down the laneway here, how many did we guess? Like I said, let me know in the comments. I noticed the triplets yesterday, she's only got two of them at the moment. So one's probably asleep in the paddock somewhere. She's walked off having a feed, fed the others, took the others with her, and she's left one of the lambs somewhere else. It's either that or a fox has come in. So let's have a look around the paddock. Fingers crossed, it wasn't a fox, and it's just asleep in the paddock somewhere. Let's go have a look. Yeah, boy, here he is. Here he comes, he thinks I'm mum. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. Yeah, I'm not your mum, buddy, but you can jump on. I'll take you to the paddock, don't worry. Don't stress, I'll take you back to mum. 
Yeah, hello. It's a little ram. He's clearly thinking, you're not mum. It's a little bit bigger than what mum was. Hey, I've got no milk on board, buddy, but I'll take you down there where your mum is, all right, and your brothers and sisters. Remember, whatever your guess was, you might have to change that guess because you've got to add one more. The little fella's having an absolute ball. Aren't you, buddy? Not many little lambies can say they've been on the four-wheeler this early. We might go on foot here, will we? Let's go on foot. <laughs> Gee whiz, there's a lot of Lambos making a lot of noises. <laughs> Hello, buddy. You want to come too? You're a bit lost as well. Come on, and you. Gee whiz, that was a bit of a slow process because they're so small. These three here got a little bit lost, so. I might actually leave these guys here and push the whole mob over this way. This little fella loves me. You love me, don't you? You love the dart? Come on. Come on. Bah. 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 Come on. There we are. They're all back together. How good. They can settle into here now. All right, we're in town here. And we've got Billy with us. He's going through Pet Barn, choosing three and only three toys, all right, Billy, for his birthday. And hopefully not too many expensive ones, hey, bud? You're going to be a good boy. You're tired after a big day with that, aren't you? Let's go, let's go choose. All right, buddy, what are you picking? And remember, no peeing in the shop. Jeez, he's really selective, isn't he? Not none of them. What about one of those? A pig's ear? Oh. Right. Geez, when you're a pup, you'd grab everything. I'll keep moving. <laughs> he doesn't know what to pick here. <laughs> What's over here? Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, you want that one? Oh, the truck. Is it a bike? Good boy. It's not a squeaker, is it? Okay. Passes that one. <laughs> Definitely is a squeaker too. That's he's got the he's got the item number one. He's selected the crocodile. What else are you gonna get, bud? New ball. You want a new ball? Don't choose a hundred dollar bed. Don't don't you dare hop in that bed. A new kennel. Come on, come on. Try it out. Try it out. <laughs> come on, bud. <laughs> no, that's it. You're not taking that on. Oh, get it. Oh, you want that? You want that, bud? Here, here. Get it. Anything with a squeaker in it? Yeah, okay, we'll take that. Yeah. No, you got to pass it here. I've got to pay for it. Hey, good boy. Sit. Do you want this? Oh, oh, ah, my finger. Finish with the chew toy. You pick one. You want that? You happy with that? <laughs> All right, that'll do, let's go. Pig ear. Load that over there. A little, what, what is that? A, um, oh, you like that, don't you, bud? And a crocodile. There you go, bud. Good boy, you're gonna rip that apart in about 10 minutes, aren't you, bud? Oh, good boy. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, it is absolutely freezing outside at the moment. It's starting to get a little bit dark. Myself and Billy have had an absolute ball. Well, I have. Hopefully he has too. It's his seventh birthday. I cannot believe he's over seven years of age now. I remember the day I picked him up as a tiny little JSP puppy. I went to the place thinking I want a girl. There was four girls in the litter and one boy. I wanted a girl. I had girl names in mind and I walked away with the only boy. It's time for Billy and myself to head inside, sit by the warm fire, have a bit of dinner. Talk about the day, buddy. You can chew on your new toys, hey? As always, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit me up in the comments with what you want to see next. I'm open for ideas. Hopefully the shoulder's on the mend by now. Please leave a like and subscribe if you can. 
We're on the march towards 20,000 subscribers and when we get there, we're doing a giveaway. I've got to think of a neat little prize for some of you guys. How exciting. See you next time.